My name is Jerry Levins, and um, I live here in New Orleans with my husband, Bob. And my, my brother had passed away, and I, uh, um, he had told me about this animal sanctuary that he would go to when he was, um, he suffered from a lot of chronic pain and depression. And he, he would tell me about this place, this animal sanctuary, just outside of town, where he would go, and he, he knew the people, and uh, and he would just get such comfort from the unconditional love of the animals. And um, so, after he passed away, I decided to drive out there and, and leave a little donation. And um, sorry, I get, I get choked up every time I talk about this. But anyway, I was so impressed with um, Pete and Sue Lucasburg who um, operate this nonprofit animal sanctuary. It's called Forever Home Animal Sanctuary. And um, no animals get adopted. And I have flyers here um, for people that want to know more about the animal sanctuary. There's flyers here that they can look at. Uh, anyway, uh, I saw a lot of animals, uh, especially especially cats, but there were horses and a dog and some roosters and there were other animals, but especially the cats, there were a number of them that had been so traumatized and they were there, and they were healing. Um, it wasn't just a place to be fed, but they were receiving a lot of love and care from um, volunteers. There were several of them that had been injured, um, as you'll see if we, as we walk around some of these. Um, at least one of them had been shot, um, and they had to um, amputate the leg. Someone had found um, that one and was taken to the vet, and they had to amputate the leg. And so it's she's got three legs, but she gets her all just fine. <laughs> and um, and they just they just seem to respond very well to the love and the care. Um, they're just doing so well. So that, um, I, I was sold. I thought I, I have to do my, this is what I'm gonna do my project on. <laughs> and I had no problem once, once that was settled, it just, it, things just flowed. Yes. That's yep. um, I know this is probably a hard question to answer, but I'm curious, what is your favorite piece in the collection? Do you oh. have one that speaks to you most? <laughs> I know the painting was something, I usually do drawings, and the painting was a real challenge. And when I started, I thought, this is just not going to work. And I, I would paint a little more, and um, I had to apply a lot of paint um, to get the effect of the fur. Mm -hmm. um, and it was, I learned a lot, yeah, even with the drawings, um, to get that fur effect. It, di it didn't just come with the stroke of a pencil. It was, do the pencil thing and then erase a little bit here and more pencil. And, and even with the, and then the colored pencil, a little more challenging because you can't erase that yeah. <laughs> like you can the graphite. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know, they're, they're all my favorites, but the, the painting I think was, uh, I fell in love with that one. Mm -hmm.
of the first ones, well, maybe the third and the fourth animal that I drew was Dobi and Shambhala. They're the three-legged ones. They're the ones that had injuries and trauma and that they had to um, work through and, and heal. Mm -hmm. um, so I got pretty attached to those as I was as I was drawing those and trying to make them come alive. It's it's funny. Sunday afternoons were my favorite time to draw. Um, I would go into my art room and I would turn on Kane and Jay and listen to all the old time music. <laughs> and I don't know, it was the most inspirational um, the day. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there were other times, you know, evenings where I would draw too and then I'd put some music on, but I just, I don't know, for some reason my Sunday afternoons were, were really... Time. Yeah. <laughs>